Have you ever felt the pull of mystery? Introducing Seeker's Notes, a classic hidden object game. Seeker's Notes isn't just another game. It's a premium hobby with no ads, no Wi-Fi needed, and it's completely free. Over 40 million fans have already been captivated by its charm. So why not come see what it's all about? Download Seeker's Notes now for free and see for yourself. Previously on the Z1 Podcast. As far as our glorious leaders are concerned, it's game over. The die is cast. The turkey is cooked. It's a penalty to United. A few weeks ago, you were scared to venture outside these four walls. And now you're gallivanting about trying to recreate the 1966 World Cup final. Why the sudden change of heart of meeting up with others? There could be more guys like Jay everywhere. If I get eaten, who would look after you? What would you do? Why, you're not hiding anything, are you? You haven't been bitten or scratched when you're outside being a moron, have you? Warning, this is a work of fiction. Everything you're about to hear has been fabricated, including character opinions, and all events that follow should be considered as entirely imaginary. Even the hamster isn't real. The town of Farringdon does exist, however, and it's actually all right, so go visit if you want. sightseeing um thursday you're saying that like you know when thursday is it's after wednesday <laughs> what day is it today aaron mm-hmm, day you don't know do you no idea you nope every day is like sunday oh so tempted to sing morrissey right now all right do you know what week it is week week number like week 26 or week 28 Christ, I couldn't even tell you that if this was normal life. Do you want to hazard a guess at a month? I'm going to say June-ish. Does that sound right? It was April 1st when the internet went off. Do you remember? Because we joked about it being a prank. Then the radio signals went down a week later. That felt like a, a few months ago. So May, then June. How come every end of the world movie they're able to keep the time, even years after the event? Yep, total bollocks. It's disorientating. How do we tell the date from now on? From now on? This is something we should have been doing from the start. Feels like it's an important step we've missed. How many monthlies have you had? Ew, no. Think of a different way. I bet someone around here's got a sundial. This seems like a sundial type of town. Ones that are ornately designed with fairies, foxes, badgers or hedgehogs. Which wouldn't make any sense at all, as all those creatures are nocturnal. But... If we find one, should we grab it? I've got to be honest, I don't know how to use one. You don't know how to use a sun tile? It can't be that complicated. Ah, it would normally be at this point where I reach for the internet to try and prove you wrong, but alas? Yeah, well, whenever you've reached for the internet in the past to try and prove me wrong, you've quickly and quietly put the internet back down and changed the subject. <sighs> Surely there's a Z out there that's still wearing a wristwatch. Hmm, Possibly. But let's make it a side mission, yeah? I mean, it's not crucial right now, but it would be handy to know important dates. Yeah, it would be nice to know when the World Cup starts. Got my war chart somewhere. I already pencilled in England's quarter-final exit on penalties, naturally. I was thinking more personal dates, like our anniversary coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. That uh, goes without saying. Yeah, right. Let's get our shit together, then. We'll head down to the town centre tomorrow, do a sweep, come straight back. We see any zombies with watches on the way, wind up preferred, we'll take them down. OK, but don't get too choosy or techy about it. We don't need one that works underwater or tells the time in nine different languages. Just a simple date and time is fine. A pedometer would be handy. Be interesting to see how many steps these guys do. Some of them haven't got any feet. I've just figured out this is the first time I've been outside in the daytime since all this died. I'm surprised you haven't got rickets. Well, you forget I was sat by a window six hours a day for God knows how long. Plus, I'm not a child, and this isn't Victorian England. Oh, and we've got vitamin D tablets. Yeah, it's weird. I've managed to pill for at least one box of those from every house I've visited. It must be like, must-have dietary supplement of the year or something. So, what have you seen on your travels without me? 
This road looks completely different. Well, so much has changed. Look, number eight has had their windows smashed in and they've painted the door blood red. There's a Zed that somehow managed to hang himself over there with a bird feeder. And, ah, here comes one right now, looking all forlorn, like he's not enjoying this at all. Oh, put him out of his misery then. There you go, sad man. See so a watch by any chance? Nah. His wrists were all just fleshy tendons. Maybe he had one, but it just fell off. So, what do you miss about being outside? Uh, meeting in groups of six, having to wear masks, social distancing. I mean, pre-COVID and pre-this, obviously. Oh, I don't know, just the freedom, really. The knowledge that you could just up and go whenever and wherever you liked. Like to once again walk down to Cuscutters at 10pm on a Sunday night in my dressing gown and slippers to buy wine without some interfering twat judging you saying you should only be buying essential items, you know. I did apologise for that. And you don't even sound a bit like me. Well, wine is essential. It's essential more than ever now. That should go on a T-shirt. Zed, 11 o'clock. Old guy, smart suit. Wait, is that a pocket watch dangling, I see? The pocket watches have dates on them. Puh, like I'd know. I'm more of a Casio man. You're not going to check? He's kind of ambling towards us. Don't fancy it. It's hanging from his trouser pocket, and I don't really want to get in a tangle for it with the poor guy. Might end up taking his trousers down, and the last thing I want to see is old man zombie cock. That should also go on a T-shirt. Wait, the back door to the pub's ajar. Should we go have a look? Ooh, look at you getting all adventurous. Are you still thinking about wine? Just go and check the front. It's locked from the inside. Right, what do we do? Hmm. You are at an entrance to a tavern. To the west is a long road. To the east is a roundabout. Your options are enter tavern or go back. Gandalf appears. Can I punch Gandalf? I don't understand the word punch. Plus, if you punch Gandalf, it's game over because he'll kick your ass. <laughs> Stop mucking about and get your ass in there. What can you see? Not much. It's dark. And it stinks. Like, not zombie stink, but definitely not good stink. Like old pub stink? No, no. More grim than that. Wait. It smells stronger up these stairs. I'm going to check downstairs first. Wait there and hold the door open for me in case I have to make a fast exit. Oh, you give me all the best jobs. Anything? The pub is a bloody tip. Smashed to pieces. There was definitely a ruckus in there. I'd even go as far to say as there was a brouhaha. But no people, no Zeds. More disappointingly, no alcohol. Not even Perno. And nobody ever drinks that devil's piss. God damn it. No scampy fries either. That's because they've only ever existed in your drunken imagination. I've never seen or spoken to anyone who has ever been able to corroborate. Back up your story. Even with all this shit going on, I'm still going to prove you wrong on that one. Right, upstairs next. Do you want me to come with you? No, no, you stay there. Keep an eye out. Found a door. Ah, shit. It won't budge. Well, what now? I could try and barge it open, or I could do the decent Englishman's approach and just knock politely and quietly. Oh, yeah, do that. Don't forget to cough. You always have to cough when you're politely trying to catch someone's attention. Oh, God, I feel stupid. If there's something or someone in here, they would have heard me by now. They might be hard of hearing or asleep. You have to knock harder than that. Don't tickle it. Shh. <coughs> <coughs> Anything? Oh, fuck this. Well, what's in there? Aaron. Aaron, did you hurt yourself? I found a watch. Great. Where did you find it? I'm coming out. What? What are you talking about? I'm coming out. No, Katie, you stay right there. You don't want to see what's in there, trust me. And we need something to jam this door back shut. No one can come in here, Zed or human. Do you want me to chalk out a warning sign or something? 
No, if you do that, someone will just get curious. If there's anyone about, you know what people are like. Pass me your lighter. What are you doing? I'm going to torch the place. Jesus, no you can't. Look, we'll jam the door. We'll make sure that no one comes around. Don't set fire to a pub. It's not right. Fine. Let's just go. Whoa. Where the fuck did you come from? I thought you were on lookout. He must have snuck from around the corner. Snuck? He's at least 6'4", even with a zombie stoop. I hate to break it to you. Zed or not, I ain't taking this one down. I mean, cue the meatloaf. I would do anything for love, but I ain't getting involved with that. If only Meatloaf was born in Clapham. Look, if you're not killing him, we need to run. He's getting closer. No, we don't. We just need to go at a pace that is marginally quicker than he is, remember? Right. I need to sort out a weapon. What can I use? Just pick anything up you can grab as we go past people's front gardens. And just throw it in, yeah? Put the gnome down, Katie. There's nothing else of interest. Here, throw this. It's a brick. Yes, and there's lots of them loose in the walls. It's not very stylish. Oh, I missed. Well, try another one then. Uh, and this time, actually believe this one is your super weapon. One that you wield with panache, grace and effectiveness. Tell yourself it has multiple zombie kills, that it's a brain-smashing master, and that you'd lay it to rest every night in its own special box for luck. Where is the brick? I threw it. It bounced off his shoes. It confused it more than anything. Oh, that'll do then. Come on, let's pick up the pace and lose this guy. It's good to be home. Yeah, we've been away for all of 45 minutes. You want to go back out there and stretch your legs, you be my guest. But you're not going anywhere near that pub. What did you see in there? You were all up for adventuring, you went to impressive lengths to bash that door down, and then you get in and suddenly said, I'm coming out. Just like that time when you were on the crystal maze with the task in the medieval zone, that was way too hard for you. Well, what they didn't show on camera was that Richard O'Brien had taken a dump in a corner of the room. Production just covered it over with straw. Three minutes I had to stay in there for, eyes streaming, while I was trying to build a drawbridge. I can't work in those conditions, dirty bloody deviant. And as for the room upstairs, I don't want to talk about it. What don't you want to talk about? Oh no. This isn't one of our arguments where you weasel stuff out of me without me even knowing. Your Jedi mind tricks ain't going to work here. You saw something bad. I get it. You don't want to tell me. I get that too. But don't let it get in the way of what we're trying to do here. We've seen people stashed in freezers. We watched a guy get mauled in front of us. Countless zombies with all manner of wrongness about them. And we're going to see a lot worse, Aaron. Much, much worse. Is this a long-winded way of you telling me to man up? No, just we might help you deal with it better if you told me. A problem shared is a problem halved. If you don't tell me, I'm going to go back out there myself and find out. (laughs) No, you won't. (laughs) Of course I won't. I'm not stupid. How about you give me three guesses? Katie, no. Come on, if I guess correctly, then you don't have to say anything. We don't have to talk about it. Just blink or something and let me know. And if I don't get it, I won't bring it back up again, I promise. Bloody hell. Right, fine. Go on then. Did you see, uh, oh, did you see old people mid coitus but dead? Ew, no. That wouldn't have freaked you out. Uh, did you see, was it like a drugs den and everyone was all sewn up mouth to anus like in that caterpillar film? No, not that either. Katie, can we just stop? Children, you saw children. No, no, I didn't. And by your rules of your game, just drop it now, please. What I saw stays with me. End off. You should have let me burn that place down.
next time on the Z1 Podcast. Anything relevant right now is the fact it hasn't rained for three weeks. Are we actually keeping count of time now? We're running out of water is what I'm basically getting at. I don't know why this head is here, but it's coming up behind you. Ten o'clock. I'll sort her out, but the next one is yours, all right? Am I allowed to use this bottle of water as a weapon? No, use your knife. You better pump yourself up, girl. Jesus, Katie. What? Just be careful.